It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, the 29th of August. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather looking quiet for a while, pretty dry for a while. Tropics very active, uh, TD number nine down in the southeastern Gulf. What's that thing going to do? What about TD eight? What about the wave coming off the coast of Africa? A lot of things going on here, so let's dive right in. You know the story. It's a ridge. August in Alabama. Showers very isolated today. That was the radar at 140. You could pretty much count the number of showers on one hand, and they're very tiny. Most of them at that point over northwest Alabama. Pretty dry pattern setting up here for a while. Temperature is mostly low 90s. Birmingham at 91. Tuscaloosa 93. We'll expect low to mid 90s each day through Thursday. The numbers should back off a little bit by Friday in the weekend. Around the nation, the southeast pretty hot. Cool patch out around the Rockies, where they're only in the 60s. Flash flood watches for parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Otherwise, things are fairly quiet today. Marginal risk of severe weather way up north. Tomorrow, no organized severe weather around the nation, but a pretty soupy air mesh. You can see a lot of green. That means a few scattered storms, but severe weather should not be a problem. And the same thing on day three, which is Wednesday. Rain for the next five days. How about nothing for much of Alabama? That's the uh, rain expected through Saturday morning. And understand, every day we'll have these little isolated pop-up showers, but uh, widespread rain, no. It's a very dry pattern for us. Obviously, the big numbers with TD9 over the Florida Peninsula. Not the panhandle, but the peninsula. A little closer look at those numbers. And even there, the, the rain distribution is not going to be very uneven, as this thing will probably stay somewhat disorganized. This is suggesting maybe some seven-inch amounts over the next five days around Tampa Bay down to Fort Myers. So uh, let's take a look at the tropics here. Here's the big picture. First off, wanted to mention that wave uh, off the coast of Africa. Pretty well-organized wave. We got Hurricane Gaston, Tropical Depressions 8 and 9, little impulse on the Texas coast that uh, will not develop. In terms of that wave coming off the coast of Africa, that thing uh, has a chance of becoming a tropical storm in coming days. Classic Cape Verde storm uh, this time of the year. Uh, nobody knows what happens with that if it tries to make the Caribbean, turns up into the open Atlantic. We just don't know that yet, but a pretty good chance this thing will develop in coming days, but it is a long, long way out there. How about looking at Gaston? That thing looks pretty good. Top, uh, top winds, 110 miles an hour, looking fairly symmetrical. Nice little eye. But that's moving out to sea. Maybe close to the Azores this weekend is a uh, tropical storm becoming a post-tropical system. But obviously no threat to the United States. Tropical depression number eight. Again, shear is just causing big problems here. The, the convection is not around the center. Still a chance this becomes a minimal tropical storm. And curves just off the coast of the Outer Banks of North Carolina and then hooks back out to sea. The main effect there will be the uh, riptides and rough surf, but that will be long gone by the Labor Day weekend if you're headed to the Atlantic coast. Tropical depression number nine. Again, it's very disorganized in the southeastern Gulf. Here's the track from the Hurricane Center. They hook this thing up uh, toward North Florida Thursday, coming in, the center coming in north of Tampa. And again, the center is not that important in a disorganized system like this. Then it hooks on out to the Atlantic. Again, long gone by the Labor Day weekend. Uh, look at the tropical models on this. Uh, got very good agreement with the, the uh, center coming up through Appalachia Bay. And there's outliers, of course, but uh, the, the consensus is clear, which uh, jives up with the NHC track very nicely. Thought I'd show you the European just for the fun of it. This is Thursday. It's got it coming in as a tropical storm. Again, uh, uh, between Apalachicola and Tampa Bay up in the Big Bend region. Remember, the worst effect of this will be along into the right of the landfall center from the center down toward Tampa Bay. And again, that jives up fairly nicely with the NHC track. Uh, and Alabama stays on the dry side. No impact here. Uh, and again, Panama City, Gulf Shores, Pensacola on the dry side, the offshore flow side. Uh, look at the intensity guidance for TD9. Most try and bring this thing up to a tropical storm. Who knows what gets the name Hermine or Ian or if either one of them get a name. But 
Again, the, the consensus is pretty good. This will not be a hurricane. But always, you know, these things can surprise you, so we'll watch them carefully. Let's see what our pal the GFS has to say. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Ridging around here, down below that. Our pattern pretty dry. Could there be a little shower? Yes, like today, but there'll be tiny little pinpoint showers. Most places dry. I'd say the high is 91 to 94, and we've got TD9 down in the Gulf. This is Wednesday. Nine is moving north. It's south of Gulf Shores, well south of Gulf Shores. But even notice uh, the, the Gulf Coast should be in pretty good shape tomorrow. Thursday is the day where this thing approaches. Now, the GFS is a little bit of an outlier to the left. It's got that broad center coming up toward Apalachicola. And if any day will be a problem for Panama City, it's this day. And understand if it goes in farther to the to the right, then Panama City would be on the dry side. So there could be some breezy conditions and squally, showery conditions on Thursday in Panama City. And that'll be the one problematic day. And again, the surf will be pretty rough. But then Friday, it's out of here. It's over in the Atlantic. Friday, the Gulf Coast looks good. The Central Gulf Coast, Alabama, we're still dry. And again, uh, what this thing is going to do on Friday, it's going to uh, more than likely have to pull down some drier air. Check out the uh, upper pattern. This is actually on Thursday, and you see a nice trough over the eastern U.S. The ridge breaks down. That's going to turn uh, TD8 out to sea. And again, that should pull down slightly cooler and noticeably drier air. Uh, again, back to the uh, Friday look here. The uh, GFS is showing 88 is the high, and dew points coming down toward the low 60s. So the humidity won't be as bad for football Friday night. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. TD8 is uh, off in the Atlantic, uh, well to the east of Wilmington. Uh, for Alabama, it looks pretty nice. Uh, we'll be down in the maybe low to mid-60s Saturday morning, highs around 90, maybe 87 to 90. And again, the dew point's not that bad. So uh, nice Labor Day weekend. The Gulf Coast looks fine. And understand down there, there could be a passing shower storm, but no tropical storm issues to deal with. Pretty much the same thing on Sunday. A very nice day. Uh, the TD is off in the Atlantic, mostly sunny. Highs 87 to 90. And Monday, Labor Day, the 5th. Ridge trying to rebuild. Tropical system kind of paralleling the east coast of the United States. And again, we are just as dry as could be. It's a very dry pattern here shaping up. Uh, this is the end of the forecast period. This is Thursday of next week, the 8th. Trough in the northwest, ridging a little west of here. And we note a tropical system showing up on the GFS on the Cuba coast. That's 10 days away. We call this the land of voodoo. Might happen, probably won't. Check the numbers. Thought we picked the European model, and if you're looking for a very big blast of cool air, that's not going to happen. But again, I do think by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there's a chance somewhere along there we might see a high in the upper 80s in one of those days with lows down in the 60s, if indeed we can get some drier air down in here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.